Previously on Astrid and Lily Save the World. Welcome to detention, delinquents. Maybe we can sneak into the stacks when we get back. That feels a little public. I don't care that you have other friends. It's just Candace? You don't know her. I never thought you were a cheater and a liar. I don't have to tell you everything. But you don't tell me anything. Screw this. Lily and I are kind of monster hunters. Candace and Lily are freaking dating. So this was just some big joke to you? The Guardian is real. He's here in town. Cool. Whatever. somewhere else oh so creepy okay what do you want what are you doing I I thought we'd kiss and make up then make out it always worked on tape seriously you think that's why I liked you liked like, like past tense? Not exactly. Well, I don't know what to do. You won't answer any of my texts. Well, maybe that should have been a hint. When I thought you just weren't ready to tell people that you liked girls, it was fine, okay? Your mom's crazy. Kids are assholes. I get it. But just not wanting to tell people you like me? Hard pass. I'm just not big on PDA. Oh, but it was okay when you were with Tate. That was different. I didn't like acting like that. People just expected no, it. No, I expected the person that I like to actually act like they liked me back. But I guess that was just too much to ask. I'm not always my biggest fan. But even I know I deserve better than that. <sighs> Lily, wait. Um, hello? We need Juliet in rehearsal. And don't forget the boomerang. Duty calls. At least it's nice to worry about normal high school crap for once. Yes? Look, I'm still mad pissed at you. Candace is a biznatch who makes our lives hell for sport. And plus, her mom and her minions are clearly plotting some evil shit with that guardian dude. So unless you're here to apologize for making out with the enemy, I am not here for it. Why are you looking at me weird? Are you sorry or not? Yes. Really? You're really sorry for swapping spit with the biggest bitch in Copper's Cove? For buddying up with a trodebeg whose minions literally kidnapped me? And for almost blowing our entire monster hunting operation? Yes. Really sorry. Oh. Hey! Uh, watch it, loser. Oh, go to hell, Jordan. Hey. Go to hell, Jordan. Oh, thank God! Oh, I missed you, partner. Missed you, partner. Oh, tell me about it. And hey, you know this has nothing to do with you liking girls, right? Just sucked seeing you with that harpy. I know. Okay, good. Don't worry, Lily. We will find you a girlfriend that is the whole package. Smart, funny, and with basic human decency. <gasps> and we can double date! Uh, speaking of, um, I haven't heard from Sparrow since detention. I'm getting kind of worried. You think I messed things up? 
Yes. Oh, I am so glad we are on the same page today. <laughs> attention, attention. I have made an important creative decision. The ending of Romeo and Juliet Down Under, too depressing. So, I rewrote it. They're not gonna die. They're gonna have a big, fat Australian wedding and live happily ever after. And you all need to learn the new scene by tonight. You can learn it on your own, right? Highly unlikely. The average human being memorizes words at a rate of uh, five words per minute. Well, as the volunteer understudy for Juliet and recent graduate of Thespis Nequesimus Academy for the Performing Arts, I would be happy to fill in for Candace. I hath forgot why I did call thee back. And let me stand here till thou remember it. And still I'll stay and wait to have thee still forget. Forgetting anyhow. But this. Mom, I'm at school. What's up? Sweetie. We need to talk. You have been acting very distant lately. Getting detention? Missing youth group? And I know why. You do? It's because I slept with Tate's dad. What? Don't worry, honey, okay? It was a one-time thing. It is over. We are not going to force you to become step siblings. Gross. Uh, but that's not the problem. Tay and I broke up a while ago. <sighs> that's what's been bothering you? Well, we can fix that. I can totally talk to Tate's dad again. No. No, um, that's not what's bugging me. I just, you know, it's fine. I just have some stuff going on. Well, Honey, we can talk about all of that tonight at youth group. Mom, it's it's the opening night for the play. Are you not coming? Candace, I never wanted you involved in that tasteless play to begin with. Mom, it's Shakespeare. Sort of. You know what, just forget it, okay? Well, have you shed your earthly regrets? You must be unburdened when you take over your own dimension. Almost. Partner. Just one more call. Excellent. Tonight's ceremony, oh great one? No, no. These won't do at all. Bring me something with more life. Hello, Helen. It is time I told you what really happened to my husband. Astrid? Oh, thank God I missed you so much. Repeating everything I'm saying. Stop repeating everything I'm saying. <gasps> Shut up! Oh, this is bad. No, this is insane. But it's also really bad. I gotta go get Astrid. I gotta go get Astrid. Hey, you don't get to say that. She's my bestie. Even though we're not talking right now, she's still my best. Seriously? Is someone talking to me? Oh, for the love of. Brutus? Brutus! Oh, hey, Lily. What brings you back here so soon? Oh, shit! Did that thing beat me here already? How's that even possible? What thing? You were just here, remember? 
I was telling you about the new monster that came through the portal, and then Astrid called it a, a doppelgoober, and I was like, oh my god, that's such a crazy no, word. No, no, Curtis, that <laughs> was the monster. I'm the real Lily. Oh. Well, that's no good. I can't believe Astrid didn't realize it wasn't really me. Hey, aren't you gonna check if I'm the real Lily? Uh, yeah. Um, how do I know you're the real Lily? Your new favorite store at the mall is Katie's Boutique, but you chickened out of getting your ears pierced because you said it looked like it'd make you say owie. Oh, hey, real Lily. But no, the monster, Brutus. Huh? Oh, right, yes, uh, the monster. Because you weren't here earlier. I mean, you were, but you just, you just, you weren't you. So, um, oh, here it is. The Castor Lux is a parasite monster that appears as a blank body. Once it touches you, it takes your voice and your appearance, and then it buddies up with your fam and friends so they don't miss you when it eats you. What about our powers? How come my leg didn't go off or, or, or Astrid's super nose? That's a great question. You see, the Castor Lux is a master of disguises. It can sneak past even interdimensional superpowers. It's pretty amazing. What's the point of even having these powers if they only work on some of the monsters? Uh, well, it, it doesn't say, but it does say that you need its double cup, its head, for the orb, which is also one of the last monster parts we need. So my crush broke my heart, my best friend hates me, and now there's a monster who looks exactly like me running around trying to kill me? Awesome. Whoa, 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 mm. whoa. Your crush broke your heart? Yo, Phil brought us in. No time, we gotta find this thing. Right, well I do wanna circle back to this whole crush thing. You know what? How about, uh, <clears throat> how about I go with you? Oh, uh -huh. oh, you? Yeah. Uh, in the field, aren't you more like a book smart monster guide? Yeah, yeah I am. But uh, how about we uh, spice things up? Huh? Hmm. I mean, Giles would go with Buffy in the field all the time, right? I mean, I, I could use the help. And I mean, you do seem pretty pumped. Okay, okay, let's go. Uh, yes, that's <laughs> what I'm talking about. Let's do a whack job on fake Lily, hard. Oh, oh. Oh, what is it? I gave one of the friendship necklaces I made to fake Lily. Okay, Brutus, um, maybe a little less concern about the friendship necklace and a little more concern about the fact that it's trying to chop my head off. Oh, no, 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 it's not going to chop your head off. Well, Astrid might. No, it wants to absorb you into its body so that it can replace you in this universe uh, forever, if that helps. It does not. Okay. No, 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 no. The koala is the ring bear. The kangaroo is the officiant, obviously. What is so hard to understand here? Everything. Literally everything. Kangaroos cannot officiate weddings. Romeo can't survive drinking pure funnel web spider venom. And black swans are only indigenous to the most specific regions of Australia. C Candace, are you even paying attention to this? Yeah, yeah, that's, I'm fine. She seems underprepared. You know, I am more than happy to fill in for Candace. No, I'm fine. Let's do the scene. I don't think Shakespeare would appreciate what you're all putting me through. I need a latte. Everybody take 10. Okay, that's 10 minutes. Uh, Candace? Where are you going? We can rehearse without Michelle. Put me in, maestro, because I am totally off book. Oh, I appreciate your professionalism and dedication. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I, uh, I really like rehearsing with you. You're a really good actor. So. <laughs> Thanks. Your, um, uh, crocodile movements are extremely authentic. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> so where were we? I think it was the kissing scene. Hello. Lily. You're right, I screwed up, okay? You know, it's just, 
It's so hard being popular, you know? Everyone just expects you to act a certain way, and... Plus, my mom would never understand. People expect you to act a certain way. Obviously, we have a lot more we need to talk about, but, um... Who took the shrimp off the Barbie? <sighs> I have to deal with that all day. Michelle decided to, um, change the ending of the play. On opening night. Classic. C can we talk later, though? Yes. Talk later. Great. Um, to Lana, could you come to the play tonight? Yes. Thank you. You're amazing, Will. For real. Is there something up with Lily? No, why? Because the average human being blinks once every four seconds. She was blinking once every 12. You really are a details kind of guy, aren't you, Eggs? <laughs> I was named after Egon Spangler, PhD. Why aren't Romeo and Juliet down under? <sighs> after you. Brutus really came through on this one. Totally badass. Sparrow! Hey, Sparrow! What the hell? How come you've been answering my texts? I know you're mad, but... Yes? What? What is this? This isn't you. Of course this is me. This is who I am. I have to go now. Lily, Lily, are you staring at a wall? Whatever. Sparrow is the caster lux. Sparrow. I know it sounds crazy, but it's true. That's why he's been acting so off. It's not really him. Okay, we need to find him before he hurts the real Sparrow. Any idea where he may have gone? Yes. Oh God, thank God, Lily. Honestly? I have no idea what I'd do without you. <sighs> Step one, we need a decapitation weapon. I gave my only one to Astrid and Fake Lily, but I am resourceful. Mm. Grease its neck hinges, scare it till its head pops off. Negative. Clip it like a toenail. Oh, never again. <laughs> 2008 Mathlete semifinals. Might not be sharp enough. No, 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 don't touch that. How about this? Where did you even get that? Never mind. She did the trick. Step two, take down the monster. We're looking for a badass monster hunter who's 5'4 and did not deserve to get her heart broken. Thanks. Appreciate that. Listen, I don't like the idea of Astrid walking around with that monster either. So I'll tell you what, I'll go back to the warehouse, see if I can find them and warn Astrid about fake Lily. Mm -hmm. If you find them, then you can just show her. I know Astrid will know which one is real right away. Like you did? Ha 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 ha, listen. Be careful. Good luck. We're so close to filling the orb. You got this. You got this. Oh! Oh, what the shit? Oh, it's just you, Tate. I was actually looking for you. That's not for me, is it? Huh? Oh, this. No, no. Wait, why are you looking for me? Oh, did I do something weird? Or did someone who really looks like me do something weird? What? No, it, it was about what I did. Huh. In detention. It was not cool. In fact, it was pretty shitty. Yeah, it was. Look, Candace, she hurt me. And I guess I just wanted to hurt her back. But I should not have done it. And I shouldn't have pulled you into it either. No, you shouldn't have. Anyway, I can make it up to you. Actually... Yes. Hello? Sparrow? Lily, are you sure you saw him come in here? Yes. Crap. <sighs> it looks like 
Looks like he's gone now. Hey, Lils. I know I've been kind of distracted with Sparrow. I don't think I haven't noticed how off you've been today. Can this really hurt you, huh? Yes. Really hurt me. I'm sorry, Lils. Look at you feeling like yourself again soon. You deserve so much better than Candace. So much better. Where'd this stupid thing come from? Hey, here's an idea. Uh, why don't we split up for a bit? Cover some more ground? Yes. Cover more ground. Good idea. Man, we are in sync today. I hate when we fight, bestie. It's the worst. It's the worst. Hey, Lily. I was hoping I'd get to see you before. Bathroom's clear. Before what, Candace? Before the play. Um, thank you so much for coming, by the way. It, it really means a lot to me that you're going to be there, you know, especially since my mom Wait, I, I never said I was going. Why would I do that? What are you talking about? Just a couple hours ago, you said... Could we just talk some more private? I just... I feel weird with Tate here. You and I both know this has nothing to do with Tate. Yeah, Candace. Shut, Shut up, Tate. Tate. You know, but, but before you said that, uh, that you understood. No, I'm, I'm just under a, a lot of pressure right now, Lily. You know, you don't, you don't get what it's like for everyone to expect you to act this way or talk that way or dress another way. I don't just... get what it's like. Candace, that's my whole goddamn life. The only difference is when I do all that shit, it still isn't enough. Could we just talk somewhere else, please? Oh my god, no one cares except for you, Candace. I'm so goddamn invisible that nobody even noticed that there were two of me walking around today. Wait, what? Oh, I gotta go. Um, Candace? Break a leg tonight. Break both legs. What did you do with the real Sparrow? I am the real Sparrow. Like hell you are. Sparrow was perfect the way he was. What kind of monster would do this to him? It's classified. Classified? Now I know you're not the real Sparrow because the real Sparrow hates secrets. Oh no. I can't be. is ready for you, your greatness. Excellent. Let's try it with key, shall we? We're here to support Lily. Lily isn't even here to support oh, Lily. Oh, stop. We're here for her. She painted the kangaroo. <laughs> thank you, and welcome, everyone. On behalf of the PTA, thank you, Michelle. And I think I speak for everyone here when I say that we could not have done this without you. <laughs> no, you could not have. <laughs> 
So, without further ado, please enjoy Romeo and Juliet Down Under, a Michelle Knight William Shakespeare collab. <laughs> Two our souls, both alike in dignity, in fair Australia will we lay our scene. <gasps> you bite your thumb at us, bloke! I do bite my thumb, mate. Oi! Get stuffed! Oh, crikey, you're into it then! Did Michelle give them real weapons? Cool. Hey, are you leaving? Uh, yeah, we searched the entire school for the caster lux and still didn't find it. I'm not waiting for it to find me. But what about the play? I'm not going to that. There's a freaking monster running around trying to kill me, remember? Yeah, um, I don't think that's the reason. You know, Candace and I were together for almost two and a half years. Yeah, and broke up like six and a half times. <laughs> yeah, and all that time, I was never there for her. Never went to her church concerts, I never... Took her headshots, didn't help her run lines. Look where that got me. Hmm, you might have a point. Candace screwed up. No question, but so did I, and you forgave me. I never technically said that. She's trying to fix it. Her mom isn't going to be there for her. She definitely doesn't care if I'm there. The only person who truly cares about being there is you. The question is whether or not you're going to show up for her. How could I let this happen? You reached the leave. Leave a message, oh. please, and thank you. Oh, straight to voicemail? She always picks up. Okay. Well, I, I can't save Sparrow without Lily. The Guardian is too powerful. Plus, the caster looks still around here somewhere. It could be anybody. Are you talking to yourself? No. I'm obviously talking to this! And if this is the weirdest thing you've seen recently, you have not been paying attention, Jordan. On, Lily, I need you. you what the hell? This is not like her. At all. Wilt thou be in the whoop whoop? It was a kookaburro, not a magpie that pierced the fearful hollow of thine budgie smugglers. Shouldn't you she be on stage? Song from no. Got harpooned to death three acts ago. Nightly, she sings on yon eucalyptus tree. I'd have made a great Juliet. That is the master to our fight. Thine ears do spin a line. Oh, like, excuse me. With all the certainty in my heart. Believe me, mate. It was the kookaburro. It was the lark. The herald of the mm. morn. No kookaburro. <sighs> but to be frank, and give it thee again. And yet I wish but for the thing I have. My bounty as boundless as the sea. My love as deep. The more I give to thee, the more I have. For both are infinite. It's the wrong version. Shut up. It's also the wrong scene. Be a secret. Hello, Lily. <gasps> okay, Lily's car is still in the parking lot, which means Lily's still here, which means the castle must also still be here. But how to find them? <laughs> I can work with that. Hey, you! Back the F off! Which one? Uh, both of you! 
both of you? Shit. Could this get any worse? I spied a venom. It's quick. And thus, the good day. I cock it. Incredible. <laughs> no workers, mates. Romeo and Juliet did not cock it. They were rushed to a surgery, everyone checked a sickie, and now they're gonna tie the knot. Fair dinkum. Oh, sorry. It's okay. Sorry. 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 Uh, I'm okay. Sorry. Go over here. Screw this. Oh, they couldn't just be doppelgangers. They had to be a freaking doppelgang. Well, speak for yourself. How do I know you're the real Lily? Seriously? You still don't know if it's me? Come on. I already screwed this up once today. I am not doing it again. <sighs> you used to plan on saving yourself until you could invent time travel to bang an early 2000s James Marsters, but that all changed when he met Sparrow. Yes, that's true. Hmm. What about you? Yes? Hmm. Well, that settles it. How do I know if you're the real Astrid? Your parents were gonna name you Libby, but then at the last minute, they remembered they both had ex-girlfriends named Libby, who ended up being the same person. Oh, it is <laughs> you! Yes, it is! <laughs> oh, shit! Where'd they go? Oh, don't worry, they can't be far. Remember, they're after us. Oh, no, no, no. We're after them. Where is Candace? Romeo can't marry Juliet unless she's present. It's Australian law. Marry Juliet. She's present. I'm so sorry, Lily. I should have known it wasn't you. I was just so damn happy to have you back. I wanted to believe. Like in Exiles. I'm sorry too, Astrid. No one could ever replace you. Not a monster. Definitely not Candace. You are perfect just the way you are. And not like some mindless yes bitch who agrees with and repeats everything I say. And you should be able to have your own life. Even if that does involve Candace. <gasps> Same to you. You're my BFF. Emphasis on the F. Oh. oh god. Yeah, gnarly. Looks like my kangaroo. Do you take this bloke to be your mate in holy matrimony? I doth. And you? I doth. For never was a story of more drongos than this of Juliet and her Romeo. You may pass the bride. Wait a minute. You're only blinking every 12 seconds. <laughs> my roll and my kiss. My turn. I mean, a uh, third turn. Mm. Ah, you know what I mean. Oh, you okay? oh. No, stop. It's me, Astrid. Oh, 
No, you don't, Doppel Dick. We are one of a damn kind! Oh, oh my god. I missed you, bestie. I got your bestie. <laughs> oh, I wish I had a cell phone to capture this moment. That's why you wish you had a cell phone? Of course, why else would I need a cell phone? Okay, we need to put both heads into the orb. Uh, both? There's supposed to be three. Shit balls. I told you that. No, no you, you didn't. didn't. Oh, that's probably the other Lily. Okay, so how do we find the last one? Lily, Lily. I meant every word I said on stage. You're smart, you're funny, and kind, and wildly a monster hunter, and gorgeous, and honestly, better than me in every way. <laughs> Got that right. I know I screwed up so bad. And I'm so sorry. I let all that stupid shit get to me and I shouldn't have. But if there's any way you can give me another chance, I promise to show up for you. Always. Because I'm, I'm crazy about you and I want everyone to know it. I know who the last Doppel is. <gasps> who? It's her. The real Candace would never say those things. Especially not with anyone else around to hear it. Huh? You got this. I'm sorry, I can't. Uh... It's okay. I'll chop off Candace's head for you. Uh, what the hell are you two talking about? Oh yeah, she's definitely the monster. In my kiss with the hottest guy in school! Double vowels? We're gonna go deal with that. Come on, let's go. Hey, come on, please. It's really you? Everything you said, that was real. Yeah. Was Asher really gonna chop off my head? I promise I will explain everything. The, the double vowels, the head chopping, all of it, but first. Bruce, let's go! I'm telling you, as soon as I slayed my artistic demons and conquered my superego, it was like I became the role. Both roles, actually. You know, the great acting teacher, Sanford Meisner, he once said, you just gotta get out of your own head. Um... Sorry, Mr. Curtain Call. More of that. <laughs> I do have one question for you, though. The Lee Fortenberry. Mm hmm. Will you be my date to a dance? Yes. <laughs> oh. Um, <sighs> Mom, uh, Moti, Piper, Candace and I are dating uh, right yeah yeah well um <laughs> we are very happy for you and candace congratulations on a great job in the play oh your mom must be so proud um actually she she can show you know she's just too busy with her church thing so it's okay <laughs> well we're proud of you yeah do you need a ride home uh yeah that'd be great thanks oh um <sighs> Can you guys give me a sec? I'm just gonna go talk to Astrid. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Let us know when you're ready to go. Yeah, sure. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. oh, thank you. <laughs> Don't get too excited. <laughs> hey, you forgot this. Mm -hmm. So I put all three heads in the orb just in case. Just one more monster to go. Can't believe it's almost over. Oh, it's been a wild ride, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well. At least we get to stop the Guardian before he turns the world into monster soup. <laughs> monster soup? Oh, right. I was a fake Lily when Brutus told us that. I'll fail you in later. Hey, Lily. Uh, you ready to go? Okay, look. I still don't like you. All those years of you treating us like shit doesn't just go away after one I'm sorry. 
Fair. But if you make Lily happy, that's a start. And if you hurt her, I will chop your head off. Astrid. Also fair. So I'm gonna try. <laughs> we must have something in common. Oh, uh, like, hey, both of our dads are dead. Uh, no, um, my mom just tells people that, so she doesn't have to say she's divorced. My dad lives in Scranton. Good to know. You know, you guys might not have that one particular thing in common, but hey, me and Candace are going to the dance together. Maybe we can double date with you and Sparrow? Oh, right. About Sparrow. The lunar eclipse is days away, and the Master Orb is ready. The time has come to reveal my complete and beautiful form to this world. And thankfully, I finally have the perfect outfit for the occasion. Are you ready to meet your great leader? Yes. yes. Good to be back to my natural form. Now, nothing can stop me. Master, do you like your outfit? What did I just say? I just say. <sighs> yes. And I just need one more thing from you to christen the orb. Of course. One down. 86 to go.